Well, last Friday, hundreds of thousands of computers around the world were hit by a cyber attack from a computer virus called, appropriately, WannaCry. Overall, more than 100 computers were affected, 100 countries, rather, from everything, hospitals in the UK, universities in China, all brought to a standstill. So far, America has avoided the worst effects of the attack, but are your files at risk? They might be. Morgan Wright is a cybersecurity expert and a senior fellow at the Center for Digital Government. He joins us tonight. Morgan, thanks for coming on. You bet, Tucker. So how bad was this, and why hasn't the United States been affected in the way other countries have been? Number one, compared to the uh, Mirai botnet, which was a huge denial of service attack, this yes. was orders of magnitude even worse than that because it hit 150 countries, like you said, hundreds of thousands of computers. So from just from a scale of magnitude, it was huge. Why the U.S. hasn't been affected? Good question. I think part of it is this is really this attack is based upon phishing and spear phishing. So we've become a little bit more aware of all the phishing attacks. You have to click on the link in the email. And part of it, too, is that there's been a heightened sense of security around making sure that you patch things. Microsoft is in the U.S., so people tend to follow that a little bit more. But look, we're not immune from it. Hospitals are definitely the ones that are not immune from this right now. What's the point of an attack like this? Uh, money. This is, this is capitalism, uh, you know, on the bad side of it. I mean, they do this. Ransomware is designed to extract exactly what it says a ransom. I hold your files ransom. You pay me money to get those files back because they're encrypted. You can't get them back. And if you can't pay for them, then there's a clock. There's a timer, just like in a football or a basketball game when it counts down. If you haven't paid the money, your files and if gone. you pay, back, pay the money, you get your files back? Well, that's the way it's supposed to work, but that's the way it's not working. Uh, right now, about $70,000 has been received. We can track that. But uh, so far, according to the FBI and uh, DHS, nobody's gotten their files back. So how do you keep it from happening to your computer? You know, it's very simple. Right now, you are the first. And I hate this. It sounds so, uh, you know, cliche, but you are the first line of defense. Just don't click on those links. A lot of people see an email come in. That's why they were worried the next wave of attacks would happen when Asia came back to work because they were off when this attack started. So you got to be careful of your links. There's a little trick I talk about. You can actually take your mouse and hover over a link, let it sit there for a second, and it will expose what the real link is behind it. I could put TuckerCarlson.com, but actually redirect that to CNN.com if I want. Not that I would, but I could if I wanted to. But if you don't know what's behind the link. Third thing is back up your, back up your information. A lot of people, uh, MedStar right here in the northern, or in the uh, Washington, D.C. area was a victim of a ransomware attack, but they had an aggressive backup policy and they were able to recover. Those are just some of the basic things. And look, when Microsoft puts out a patch, it's not a suggestion. You really need to update your systems and upgrade your systems. Many of these affected systems were not even officially supported by Microsoft anymore. And is this just for des desktops and laptops or iPods, I mean iPads? iPhones affected as well? No, no. Uh, the Apple products aren't affected right now because it only affects a vulnerability that's in Windows. But the but it but if, because it's a worm, it's not a virus. This one is a worm. The second part of this payload, which was part of the what they thought were the NSA tools from Shadow Broker, this thing was able to self-replicate very much the way that Stuxnet worm did in the Iranian centrifuges. It just worm it's uh, worked its way through the system and attacked everything that was vulnerable. Huh. So don't click on links. Yeah. Be suspicious. Absolutely. And get Apple rather than Microsoft. <laughs> That's what you're saying. Well, I, I use Mac. That's all I use. I just use Macs. But really quickly, is this a threat to our basic infrastructure, air travel? I mean, could this bring the country to its knees? It could. And how we dodge the bullet, some of it may just be pure luck, but Tucker, you've got to realize how fast this thing spread and how many systems it hit. It did hit critical infrastructure. It hit banks. It hit um, FedEx. It hit hos hospitals, the ones I worry about most. Nobody, if they do an overdraft, they don't automatically fall over. But in a hospital, people actually could die from locking up machines, locking up hospital rooms, records, uh, patient medication stuff. So we're not out of the woods on this yet. Morgan Wright, thanks. You bet, Tucker.